Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and it's a day to celebrate love. Our hormones are actually responsible for making us happy when we are in love. What are they, though? How do they work, and how can we replicate that feeling? We asked our natural health expert, Bryce Wild, for all the answers. Come on in here. Help us out. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you as well. Yeah. Isn't it nice that we love, get to talk about love? Love shack. Love shack, <laughs> That's what baby. It is, baby. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about those feelings because yeah. when you are in love, you're almost in a whole other stratosphere. And it's, you know, it's it's like a drug. It the is. hormones well, that are no, surging. Actually, it is a drug. It is very right? much a drug. Absolutely. It's a good drug. Yeah, a um, cloud nine drug. That's one thing. But I mean, you can very much be in a stable, long term relationship and still have that spark going. And in fact, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Uh, and this segment is how to maybe even reinvigorate that spark and get those hormones back up to cloud nine. Oh, I How's love that? that. What yeah. do we need to do? What do we need to do? It's a plethora of things. Okay. Now, let's start with the biochemistry, because I bet you folks out there right now watching are thinking we're going to talk testosterone. Maybe. That is, you know, it, there's so many hormones that are raging around this time of year in particular, right? Yeah. Because, you know, Valentine's Day is literally tomorrow. Uh -huh. But I'll tell you, it's not testosterone. That's the libido hormone. Whether it's in yeah. you as a female or in me, that's the sex drive hormone. That's mm -hmm. not the in love hormone. Okay. okay so See, there are two different there things. Are no, yeah. <laughs> Learn this from a young age. <laughs> right. <laughs> there are two different right. things. Pay attention early. So the in love hormone yeah. is known as oxytocin. That's right. And oxytocin yes. is also that major and there's the most important hormone that when you give birth to a child mm -hmm. and you look at that alien-like thing and you go like, wow, I'm in love with that thing and I'll do anything for it, yeah. you know, that's oxytocin surging. Okay. okay. So oxytocin starts in the brain. Yes. At the pituitary gland. Yes. Right, the very center of the brain, this tiny little gland, it's up on uh, screen right here. Mm -hmm. So through the brain into the center, that little gland there hanging off the tip, kind of like your uvula, the, like a little boxing bag in the back of your throat. Yeah. That is the gland that releases oxytocin. I've got okay. a little model here as well. This is the brain, and if I divide the hemispheres, we'll see. This little gland right here, that is going to surge. One thing it does is actually surges down here to the amygdala. Okay. And the amygdala is the old ancient part of the brain, the reptilian brain, that is in charge of fight or flight. Yes. So one thing that the oxytocin does is shuts down fight or flight and allows you to be calm and relaxed and focused on mm. your partner or your lover or your baby or whatever it is you're in love with at that moment in time. Yes. Okay. So then we need to focus on how we get that thing going. How do we increase oxytocin, the yes. love hormone, not just testosterone, oxytocin, to yes. stay in love and be in love at a stronger cloud nine level. Right. All right. All right. So I'm going to start over here at this side of the table and it begins with setting the mood. You know, there is something. <laughs> there is something. We're going to get cheesy up right? in here. But there is a, yeah, you know, put on some Kenny G. It, no? <laughs> yeah. Right? You know, this is my favorite. You can use any, any essential oil Kenny that, G. that might turn you on, but my favorite is ylang ylang, yeah. dim the lights, and turn on a candle. There is science to this. That actually it works? It literally will surge oxytocin. Okay, yeah. so what is it? It's just atmospheric. Like atmospheric. you're taking it in, and it's got to right. be something that works for you. That's right. If it, it, it's not Kenny right? G, then play some ACDC if that's what right. that's it. I mean, it's a, but, but music, does, music does turn that on. Music okay. that definitely does turn that on. Now, why am I holding up an anatomy of the ear? Because I don't know, that's probably one of the senses that you need to you need to sort of get going. If you massage the ear lobe, you can definitely cause arousal, which actually might increase oxytocin. Bingo! But yeah. more importantly, put down your cell phones. Yes. Get engaged with your partner and actively oh, listen. Listen, uh, listen active, to what they're saying. This is listening. revolutionary. Right? Active listening, no active matter listening. 30 seconds or a couple of minutes, all it takes, just like that. Yeah. If you're engaged with them, I'm looking really at them, actively, to you, Bryce. not like this, kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I, oh, I heard what you're doing today. No, I did yeah. hear. That's going to shut them down, right? Right. But actively listening actually boosts um, oxytocin. But that boosts oxytocin for the person you're listening to, or also for you? Actually, both. Okay. Science shows all both. All right. Bo Listen to both. each other Absolutely. and be active about it. Yeah. Okay, so you've listened to each other. You've set the mood. Um, what try else to, can we try do? Try to get mindful. Whether okay. it's mindful in the moment. And that's kind of a segue from actively listening, but mindful about what your partner's doing, looking at them, appreciating them, right. you know, getting back into the mood of the moment. Get mindful about that. Right. Because right. when you feel heard, it is true. You feel you feel better about yourself. You that's feel right. better about the situation. And it doesn't really matter what you're saying. Yep. It's like someone is listening to you yep. and you feel very heard. Bingo. Okay. So what about getting adventurous? I've heard that this is one of the things that you should do to, to get that gland going. I've heard you, like me, love yes. the adventure. So the adventure I hate cause... the adventure. Someone lied to you. <laughs> really? I hate the well, adventure.
adventure. Let's prove it to your viewers here because we've got uh, you being adventurous. So Under that'll... duress, okay? <laughs> I, I would so... never. There I am in Vegas on a zip line. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this stuff, I don't find this stuff fun. <laughs> and so I did it. And here's what was brutal about it. I had to take off my shoes. I'm like, I'm barefoot in Vegas on a zip line? Really, guys? Go by all of these uh, people that are standing on the ground on Fremont. Is it Fremont Street? Yeah, that's right. Old Vegas. Went down the zip line, complained all the way, complained to my producer. I complained, I don't want to do it. I'm having second thoughts. Let's just forget this shoot. I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, I did it, and at the end, I was like, that was fun. Yeah, right? So let me, ex so let me explain the hormonal fun, chemistry guys. just real quickly for okay. the other nerds that are out there like me. Yeah. Adrenaline's up. Mm -hmm. Dopamine up, the reward hormone, because by the way, you survived it. I survived. But the end result, just like by the way, watching a horror movie, right. that'll increase adrenaline, but also cause a surge afterward of oxytocin. Okay. Once again, this hormone is the hormone that causes closeness, yes. that, wants, that causes connectedness, that wants you to remain with that individual. It's beyond the testosterone and the, and the lovemaking. We'll get to that in a minute. That's so, interesting, because I did feel a bond with the woman I ziplined with. <laughs> right? I did. Right? I wanted yes. her phone number. Right? Yes. I wanted to keep in touch. Yes. Yes. That I really sense. did. That's chemistry. You okay. can't ignore the chemistry. All right. So nutritionally, spices. Now, mm -hmm. if you can't go for the cayenne pepper, studies show black pepper nearly as effective. Okay. But so is coffee. And you know, I think I could, pr I could probably not do a segment with you if I couldn't bring coffee and chocolate. You probably couldn't. <laughs> These both. You won't get invited together. back. Right. And here's another one: encapsulated fenugreek. Oh, okay. So fenugreek's an herb. By the way, it's important to help uh, you know pregnant women um, in the in the end of their term increase letting, and then of course upon delivery oh, that first breast fed. That's how I know fenugreek. important. Yeah, and oxytocin helps that let. Okay. Right. Now, now, why do I have this stuff over here? What do you think? I don't know. Let me see what this is. Well, we Are you going to make me try it? <laughs> no, you're not. Good, taking clean it. love. Oh, never mind. I don't have to try it. So it's... this is lubrication. Yeah. And besides the fact. <laughs> Right. So, <laughs> on top of which, it's actually on top of which, it's actually, by the way, it's actually organic lubrication. Is just it? So, you know, it's so all this organic, comes in organic all naturally, too. <laughs> right? It's from an organic tree. Uh, okay. No, I'm kidding. So, again, so besides <laughs> what it might do to help the lovemaking that much more pleasurable, it's yeah. the after the lovemaking effect that causes oxytocin to rise. But right. here's a little tip. Okay. Right? It's not just lovemaking, like intercourse and whatever else you can do in the bedroom. Yeah. It's also, by the way, studies show massaging or caressing each other's nipples with oil. <laughs> specifically Actually, the specifically nipples? I'm nipples. five years old. Right? Why did I giggle? I, I, I never did. I never Why did I giggle? Laugh. He's laughing right now. <laughs> massaging nipples, each other's or your own, will increase, directly increase oxytocin. Just Boom. the nipples. Just That's the area that well, we have just talking your nipples, about. But that increases it even further, right? <laughs> that was quite the segment, Bryce. <laughs> Am I red? <laughs> A little bit. All right.